What should I tell my daughter after nearly three decades of holding her dreams in our hearts? Do I believe in fate, that things happen for a reason? Wake up and listen to my anthem. Charlotte, I still remember meeting you on a rainy day at Preakness many years ago. Pat had been trying to meet up with Charlotte the entire day. Today, on the same Preakness day, six years later, they got married. Tired of feeling broken. Truth and here is Patrick. I look at him tonight, and I see the makings of a great father, a great husband, and a great son. Here's another chance to see the change we need. See a miracle when we walk these streets. He was born on January the 8th, Elvis's birthday. I can feel All I ever really needed to know, I learned in kindergarten. Live a balanced life. Learn some, and think some, and draw, and paint, and sing, and dance, and play, and work every day. I've known Pat a pretty long time. 20 years ago this fall in 1999. I could stand up here to rip on Pat on all day, but luckily for you, Charlotte, Pat will be the best man in my wedding next month. Patrick is the smartest, funniest, best looking guy in the world. Charlotte has the courage of her convictions. She has such a big heart and she's so selfless and so kind. I'm so happy that Charlotte met Pat. He gives her the comfort and love that she gives to everyone in her life. I can feel it, there's something in the water. Anything is possible. 20 or 30 years hence that you'll be standing in a room not unlike this one and you'll be giving away your most precious gift to someone you know will love them and care for them and treat them as you would. And together they will launch their lives on the amazing journey we call marriage. And it is still true no matter how old you are, when you go out into the world, it is best to hold hands and stick together. If everyone would now please raise their glass for a toast to our bride and groom, Charlotte and Pat. Now let's party! Let's party! You're forever my oasis My heart is home with you My heart is home with you I never wanted to